Hi team. In this segment, we're going to explore some critical differences between earnings and cash flow. Shorthand valuation relies on a multiple and a measure of earnings, but a true valuation exercise will always be focused on cash flow, whether it be a public company or a private company, or even a sailboat you wish to purchase and charter to customers. Valuation should ultimately be tied to the asset's ability to generate cash flow. Most concisely, valuation is the discounted value of an asset's future cash flows. Unfortunately, cash is simpler than earnings. Properly calculating earnings can be complicated. The matching principle requires that revenues and expenses be matched in any accounting period, which means that we humans have to develop cost accounting structures that rely on estimates. And this can get tricky. To understand why, it helps to look at the difference between a reseller and a manufacturer. As the manufacturer develops the product it sells, it must allocate all of the associated costs to that product on the balance sheet from the raw materials procured through the work in process stage until it is complete and ready for sale. Then, when it is sold, the value is transferred from the balance sheet to the income statement under costs of goods sold. The COGS equation provides a helpful visual. Simplified, this equation states that COGS is equal to beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory. This suggests that if inventory drops on account of sales, the value of that inventory is captured by COGS. It also means that if you get this process wrong, you won't know what your actual profit is and your financial statements will not tie together. By way of example, I once looked at a tolling company that blended chemicals. In this context, tolling just means mixing. So this company just mixed chemicals. If finance has taught me anything, it's that if you rename something and make it sound fancy or complicated, you can charge more for it. And not to go too far on a tangent, but this really applies to anything. When humans were having a hard time convincing other humans to eat a fish called a Patagonian toothfish, they renamed it the Chilean sea bass. Same fish, same taste, different amount of money. Back to the tolling business. The accounting should have been simple. Whenever a barrel was sold, the raw ingredients in any associated labor should be expensed in the same period. But something was wrong. Inventory consistently came up short. Raw materials seemingly just disappeared every period. Video footage was reviewed in an attempt to spot incidents of theft, but nothing was revealed. And then came a simple observation. Most of the products had a high viscosity. The barrels used to blend the raw materials could not be emptied in their entirety because the product stuck to the inside of the barrel like honey. Cost accounting estimates had to be adjusted for this waste. And with this update, the financial statements tied once again. For the duration of the exercise, however, the amount of cash coming in and out of the business was accurate. Intentionally or unintentionally, earnings can be manipulated, but cash, absent any fraud or theft, is a fact. As an analyst and investor, though, it's also important to dig a bit deeper and think about the three different types of cash flows, operating, investing, and financing, and what they tell you about a business. By way of example, we have looked at distressed opportunities where the target company had a terrible capital structure, which was reflected in its balance sheet. But the cash flow statement made it easy to evaluate the health of the business, assuming it was recapitalized. You don't have to build a model to add back cash flow from financing activities and interest expense to evaluate how the company would perform on a debt-free basis. Otherwise, the cash flow statement is straightforward, sufficiently so to compare to eliminate stand. Cash flows are inherently different from earnings. They simply are the difference between cash received during the period from customers and paid to suppliers of services, vendors, employees, utilities, and more. Cash flow is a much simpler metric, more straightforward and easier to compute than earnings. It is in essence a lemonade stand measure. By the end of the day, your profit is total receipts from thirsty drinkers, minus the cost of concentrates, ice, and assistance pay. There's a terrific quote that's most appropriate on the subject of earnings versus cash flow. Revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, but cash is king. You will hear me say it a lot. Rephrased, revenue and earnings can be manipulated, which is to say they can be opinions, but cash is generally a fact. In the next segment, we'll demonstrate how exaggerated these opinions can become. But otherwise, it's all for now. Thanks for watching.